everything, whether it's a, a, a physical product or whether it's a concept, came from someplace, it has arrived at where it is now, and it's going to change in the future. That it really is a, a, a process of, of, of constant and, and continual evolution. And by viewing it that way, you don't think, uh, you, your, your view of the way that the world is or should be gets altered. And if, if I think about mathematics, the, the student, and maybe you, by the way, when you're talking about how calculus, you know, you came to calculus and that became harder or geometry, you know, what you might have been trying to do at that time was that you looked at this huge calculus tome and you said, oh no, I've got 1,200 different pages and big pages, each one full of different stuff. A math teacher looks at that and says, that tome has two ideas, the derivative and the integral, and all the rest of those 1,300 pages are applications, variations, and, and, uh, and extensions of those two ideas. And so when you open to page 763, you know, why can I understand page 763? It's not because I've memorized 763 pages, it's because I see it as connected to, to the rest. If you approach a subject like calculus as something that's meaningful, where the derivative actually means something, the integral actually means something, and they do, by the way. They, I mean, they have very straightforward descriptions in physical terms about describing motion, about describing how you can and accumulate little changes to make big changes. That, that those kinds of descriptions, if you pin them down, can, can just keep your, your entire attention organized so that doing calculus really is a question of understanding and increasing understanding and then it all makes sense. It's a much simpler job for a person who is doing calculus by virtue of understanding to get something right than it is for a person to memorize hundreds of pages of basically un, un, meaningless formulae and, and uh, um, techniques. That's a really hard job. I mean, it's, it's like memorizing poems in a foreign language. You know, you can do it. You can do it to some extent. But, oh, first of all, you lose it Im immediately. You're going to forget it. And it, it, if there's any variation from it, from what you've learned, you're, you're completely thrown. Whereas if you actually understand that it came from someplace, it means something, then you're approaching your whole subject in a different way. And then you can't be thrown with little variations because you see, oh yeah, it fits into what I actually understand.